welcome guys in today's session i am going to discuss elaborately uh, about the blood supply of heart the coronary circulation that is anterior view of heart you can see uh, the all artery i have uh, drawn first uh, to uh, reduce the time span it is the anterior view of a heart and that is you know ascending aorta arch of aorta as pulmonary artery that is chamber right atrium and uh, right left atrium is not uh, shown here because uh, from the posterior uh, view of heart it stays just backward and uh, you can't uh, see the left atrium from anterior view that is right ventricle and that is the anterior view of left ventricle left ventricle that is left auricle a r i c l e auricle and you are seeing this deep line this deep line is anterior interventricular septum that is right border of a heart that is left border of heart and that is apex of heart and base is here okay from today's discussion you are uh, gaining the key point of artery supply or coronary circulation of a heart and uh, after seeing the discussion i think you will be very much efficient or you uh, can understand very easily the circulation major circulation of heart coronary circulation that is the coronary circulation c o r o n a r y the word cor is a latin word latin word from latin word coronary cor the uh, term coronary in adjective form and uh, circulation is called coronary artery circulation is the very vital to know the blood supply of heart because uh, the next section when we will discuss about uh, acute myocardial infarction or other um, uh, blood uh, circulation related disease and ischemic heart disease in this case it is it will be very much important uh, to know which uh, artery supply which portion of the heart and that's why branches and everything is uh, have to know very clearly to understand the uh, basic of coronary artery disease and atherosclerotic heart disease because atherosclerotic heart atherosclerotic heart disease is today is a very devastating disease and whole world the number one uh, mortality is from coronary artery disease and related to atherosclerosis so uh, before going to atherosclerosis and coronary artery disease uh, it is very vital to know the blood supply so uh, before starting the blood supply uh, i am just explaining in brief the coronary sinus that is aortic sinus that is ascending aorta and the solen portion this solen portion is aortic sinus aortic sinus and two major artery like left coronary artery right coronary artery is arise from this solen portion or that is aortic sinus sinus aortic sinus this two major artery left coronary artery and right coronary artery is arise from this sinus and the sinus have three part you all know the sinus is 
looks like uh, this this the swollen portion of ascending artery ascending aorta and it has three part this this aortic valve this aortic valve has three cusp with this three cusps this sinus is divided into three portion like anterior one anterior portion one anterior part and two posterior part two posterior part and two posterior part again is left and right okay this is the coronary sinus first i am going to discuss about right coronary artery in the coronary artery blood supply the both left ventricle and right ventricle is supplied by two different artery left side is mainly supplied by left coronary artery and right side is mainly supplied by right coronary artery and the similarity between two is very very important because you, if you if you remember one you can remember other that is the peculiarity of the coronary artery supply if you can remember one you can easily remember other and i will correlate this two with the uh, diagram and in the anterior portion of anterior uh, picture of heart from the frontal view here in red color i have uh, and drawn all arteries and in dotted line it is just in the posterior view it is just backward to the my heart that's why i am uh, drawn i have drawn it with dotted view is right coronary artery right coronary artery it arises from coronary uh, aortic sinus aortic sinus that is swollen portion of the ascending aorta and one peculiarity is that every organ in our heart gets its blood supply during systole yeah there is peculiarity cardiac muscle cardiac muscle gets its blood supply uh, during diastole that is the peculiarity of heart every organ every organ to brain uh, brain to uh, leg every organ gets blood supply or um, gets oxygen supply and nutrition supply uh, during systole but in heart in case of heart coronary blood supply is um, it but heart gets its blood supply during diastole that is the peculiarity of blood supply in the heart okay mm, so that is a right coronary artery its originate from anterior anterior aortic sinus that portion is anterior aortic sinus that portion is anterior aortic sinus from it originate from anterior aortic sinus aortic sinus and it goes between pulmonary trunk that is right uh, at uh, right ventricle and uh, that is atrioventricular septum that line demarks atrioventricular septum and uh, after originating right coronary artery it goes down between superior vena cava and pulmonary trunk then it reaches to atrioventricular group that is an atrioventricular group that is anterior atrioventricular group and that is posterior atrioventricular group before reaching the atrioventricular group it gives two branches like one branch to sa node 
that is s a node that is s a node s a node so this branch is called s a nodal branch the first branch the first branch of right coronary artery the s a nodal branch so one question is very important question which artery supply the s a node it is the branch of right coronary artery okay and then the second branch it gives to is the second branch it gives to conus artery conus artery that is right coronary artery and that is conus artery so it is right conus artery right conus artery okay that's that's the left side the same uh, artery have left conus artery and this two artery anastomosis with each other okay so here after reaching the border right border of heart it just get bent it bends to um, go backward to supply the posterior uh, surface of heart that is the posterior surface of heart and uh, i have uh, shown it in dotted line the artery goes posterior after getting a bend bend towards posterior it goes to posterior surface of heart and before going to posterior surface of heart it gives a large branch called i have shown in this line i have shown in this line this is artery that is marginal artery it is in right side so it is right marginal artery right marginal artery okay it has other name which is uh, popular in mcq question that is right acute a c u t acute marginal artery okay so uh, you can see here uh, right coronary artery originate from uh, anterior coronary sinus anterior aortic sinus and it runs uh, downward and reach atrioventricular group of definitely uh, right side and it um, the right border of heart it just bent to reach backward of the back side of the uh, heart and it continue as terminal branch and that is posterior it is right coronary artery and it stayed in posterior atrio ventricular groove okay in posterior aspect it gives two branches remember it in posterior aspect if we rotate the heart in this position we can see it clearly in posterior aspect post in posterior aspect it gives two branches number 1 that is av node and that is av nodal branch it is av nodal branch av nodal branch and this sir this conducting system the main two uh, node sa node and av node is supplied by right coronary artery that's why ischemia and infraction of right coronary artery is very important and it's uh, maybe life threatening threatening okay so here sa node and av node both is supplied by right coronary artery 
here uh, in dotted line that is that is posterior interventricular group this blue line is posterior interventricular group and the one branch which goes through the posterior interventricular group that line that artery is called posterior interventricular artery that is posterior inter ventricular artery it runs through posterior interventricular group and make anastomosis with the left coronary artery which comes from the apex to upward in the in the in that group okay that's all about right coronary artery so yeah, here we can see right coronary artery arise from anterior uh, aortic sinus and it uh, and its uh, runs downward to reach an atrioventricular group here it gives two branches branch to sa node branch to sa node or sa nodal branch and uh, here it is right conus conus artery is a branch of right coronary artery at the right border of heart it bends and goes through posterior interventricular group as right coronary artery and gives two branches posterior interventricular posterior interventricular group posterior in, in a posterior interventricular group it gives posterior interventricular artery and that is terminal branch and that is artery to av node okay now in gist we can uh, see all i have covered and they are very clear about right coronary artery now i am going to correlate left coronary artery with right coronary artery and that is left coronary artery and you can see the red line that is left coronary artery it is written in dotted because it situated just posterior to pulmonary artery that is why I have drawn it in dot line ok. Uh, it arises from that is you can see the two posterior um, part of aortic sinus aortic it arises from aortic sinus aortic sinus and from anterior right coronary artery arise from posterior left coronary artery artery arise left posterior from posterior aortic sinus left side it has two part left and right from left part from left part posterior coronary uh, 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 left coronary artery arise that is the solen portion of aortic uh, ascending aorta and that is called aortic sinus and from uh, left posterior aortic sinus from left posterior left okay, remember 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 i am repeating uh, so many times in that uh, you can remember because it is very vital it arise from left posterior aortic sinus left posterior aortic sinus that and and goes in uh, between um, 
pulmonary trunk and auricle and that is left auricle left auricle i have already discussed it is not it, it is not uh, atrium because left atrium is the back side of the uh, anterior view of heart uh, that that's why it is not shown here and that comes through anterior intraventricular septum sorry it comes through anterior intraventricular interventricular groove i have shown here anterior intervent interventricular groove here and and drawn artery separately to show you the artery in clear view in other word it is just pass into the groove through the groove okay that is art artery and it gives fast fast branch like right side like right coronary artery it gives fast um, branch that is conus artery conus artery c o n u s conus artery it is uh, left it is right it is left and makes anastomosis with either each other okay then it gives one large branch that is circumflex branch circumflex means it's rounded it's round off to reach the posterior surface here here it, it round off to reach posterior surface and it's continue as circumflex artery so it is left left circumflex artery just like imagine the right side right side it it bends and rounded to reach the posterior surface here circumflex artery just bends and round off to reach the posterior surface of heart and it anastomosis with the posterior intraventricular post uh, right posterior atrioventricular artery it anastomosis with the right posterior atrioventricular artery or tar uh, of terminal terminal branch of right posterior intraventricular atrioventricular artery okay here it giving of one branch it descend downwards downwards anteriorly into the atrioventricular group sorry interventricular group here anterior interventricular group and artery runs downwards into this group through this group okay here it gives marginal uh, diagonal branch like there are so many diagonal branch but uh, two is important d1 d2 diagonal branch okay here one thing is very important and interesting to know just like right arc, right acute marginal branch it it gives circumflex artery gives a long branch and that is left marginal branch left marginal artery okay so that is right marginal artery that is left marginal artery right marginal artery is direct branch of right coronary artery but 
left marginal artery is coming from circumflex branch. Okay. Here one thing is very much important to remember that uh, that is a right marginal artery, right marginal artery called is called acute and there is also a marginal artery on the left side is a branch of left coronary artery and it is called left marginal artery left marginal artery and this artery is this artery is sometimes called obtuse obtuse marginal artery okay there is two important thing that is acute that is acute and that is obtuse obtuse is a branch of left coronary artery and left marginal artery is in other word called obtuse marginal artery very important in uh, various uh, question mcq and other thing so uh, here the term obtuse is important that is to a diagonal artery or diagonal branch this artery left anterior left anterior inter ventricular artery that is known in another name is called lada l a d a lada left left anterior descending artery or l a d left anterior descending artery this is very important name lada or lad and lad is very popular name from this anterior inter interventricular artery and in apex that is apex of heart in the apex this lada again turns round to reach posterior surface in posterior surface it ascends it ascends to to anastomosis with posterior interventricular artery posterior interventricular artery is posterior interventricular artery is branch of right coronary artery here it reach lada here lada turns round to reach posterior surface and ascends to anastomosis with it is uh, posterior interventricular artery and that artery is anterior inter ventricular artery anastomosis so in the circulation point of view right coronary artery 
supplies the uh, right half right half of a heart and left coronary artery supplies the left left side of heart mainly blood supply is uh, concerned with ventricle because ventricle wall is very thick and its oxygen and nutritional supply is large and that's why it is mainly concerned with uh, ventricular muscle so here all about the blood supply of my heart and uh, some important thing sa node is supplied by uh, sa nodal artery which is branch of right coronary artery AV node is supplied by AV nodal artery which is um, uh, uh, branch of right coronary artery here uh, so the large portion of the conducting conducting system is supplied by right coronary artery that's why the right coronary artery is very important from uh, conducting point of view because in any atherosclerotic plaque or any uh, obstruction in right coronary artery may hinder the uh, heart rate or cardiac pulsation that points of view it is very uh, important and left side is also very important because it supply wide area of left uh, ventricle and left ventricle you know is a very uh, important ventricle because it supplies um, blood and uh, oxygen and nutrition to all uh, through the heart uh, all through the uh, body and that's why uh, huge amount of pressure is created in left uh, ventricle that's why uh, artery supply is also uh, important that's point of view and most of the uh, case where coronary artery disease is occurred left uh, left ventricle is affected very much and uh, rarely right right uh, coronary artery is affected so when right coronary artery is, is affected is always dangerous and life threatening so that is all about the um, blood supply of uh, heart uh, in uh, tomorrow's session we'll discuss about atherosclerotic heart disease and uh, ischemic heart disease in details so guys uh, go through uh, my video and uh, study very clearly the uh, arterial supply of the heart. Thank you.